Hello, my name is Ioannis Dijoglu and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create an advanced query by using three different tables. This query will be a complaints query. In order to actually accept the complaint and actually treat a complaint uh, formally, we need to have strong evidence in place. So I'm going to select the Create tab and then I'm going to select Query Design. From the Show Table window, I'm going to select the Staff table and select Add, the Students table, select Add, and the Invoice table, select Add. I'm going to close now my Show Table window. As you can see, my relationships are in place. Now, because I'm using a relational database and all these tables are linked with each other, I'm going to find the specific information, the information that I'm looking for. To start with, I need to display the first name and the surname of the member of staff, the first name and the surname of the student, and I would like also to have all the information for the invoice. So I'm going to select double click on the on the first field second field double click third field double click payment method total price and total amount so if you have put uh, twice the same value field so you can actually highlight it and backspace it to remove uh, this field so I will display the first name the surname of the staff the first name and the surname of the student, the best before date, the quantity, the VAT, actually we don't really need the VAT, so we can actually uh, hide this value, or we can delete it, uh, the payment method, uh, total price, total amount, total amount invoice. So now I'm going to apply some uh, values on the criteria to actually uh, check for a specific record. So I'm going to put a square bracket here and I'm going to type please add the sh staff surname and close the square bracket. I'm going to highlight this information and copy. Then on the surname for the uh, student I'm going to paste this information and type instead of staff type student please add the student surname so if I run the query now please add the staff surname I'm gonna add the staff surname which in this case is uh, Cooper please add the student surname which in this case is Brooke click OK. Now we'll be able to see that Mary Cooper served Jamie Brooke on the 16th of the 12th, 2011. Mr. Brooke bought one product, paid in cash, the total price was £10, the total amount that he's paid is £10. So I have quite strong evidence to see that uh, the transaction took place when uh, Jamie Brooke claimed. So now the manager has some strong evidence to take action. So this is how you create an advanced query using Microsoft Access 2007. Thank you for watching.